Well, hello, me dirty pirates of the interwebs. Dirty pirates of the interwebs? Ah, we're just gonna roll with it. Welcome back to Atlas, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing's changed. You don't see anything different from the previous episode. Bad things happened. But we're back! <laughs> and we're kind of in the same place-ish as we were before. Uh, but we found a better island, and we've settled it, and I've just... Basically, this is why an episode didn't come out on time. It was because um, I redid the server. There was a couple things that I messed up when I initially set up the server, and it ended up causing some issues, and decided to just fix those early by re and basically redoing the entire server, and we went back to a different, little bit of a different island. So kind of in the same progress area as the first one. So we're working on our brigantine, and today I am going to make the most gangsterific brigantine that has ever been made. This thing is going to be chock full of cannons because we actually have metal on this island. Um, our tribe or company is called Lumbago Nightmare. It's pretty awesome. And if you want to come live in our area, once they release the, um, the little patch that allows us to allow people to live with inside our walls, you know what? I'm going to drop the taxation rate to 10%. I want people to come settle in the area. Obviously not on top of us. That would be a little crazy. Uh, but settle in the area, and we've got a decently, uh, a decent tax rate here. So, feel free to check out the server info to be able to join, and if you're a patron, member, or sponsor, you'll be able to actually join the company itself and rule the 16 seas with us, because we have 16 servers, <laughs> and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're finally getting some progression on here, and, uh, the company is growing, we're getting a lot of stuff done, working on the Brigantine today, and, um, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy it. Thank you so much for the support on the series. Definitely not as good as Red Dead Redemption content, but I am really enjoying this game. Uh, when I actually get to play it. <laughs> but things have stabled a lot, stabilized a lot, and we should be good now. So what we have to do is we need to make a metric ass load of planks. So I've gotten everything farmed up, and... What we're going to be doing on this server is it is a PvP PvE server, so... Uh, during the week, its bases cannot be raided, but the seas are fair game. Now, also within those rules, um, if you encounter a ship that is not aggressive, or surrenders in chat or something like that, you cannot destroy the ship. So it kind of makes it fun for everybody. Uh, the seas are obviously a dangerous place to go, uh, so it's open PvP on the seas. Um, but bases can only be raided on the weekends, so territory claims and stuff like that. Although companies can work it amongst themselves, if they really want to battle it out during the weekends, they can do that. Just don't harass the admins. So, we got some cool rules on the server, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And we have 500 slots on the server, so probably one of the largest Atlas servers available. And I cannot wait to see where this goes in the future. We're going to be playing this on the channel for a while. Uh, because if it's like Ark Survival Evolved, there's going to be tons and there's already been tons of stuff being added. They've been updating the game every single day, sometimes even four to five times a day. Just just going crazy. Like even massive AAA publishers don't do this kind of thing. And that's why I told everybody to just calm their tits when it first came out because they were going to fix everything. And they've done an amazing job and actually doing that so things have been progressing absolutely amazingly um i would you know it's it's cheap right now and if you liked ark survival evolve you're gonna like this although there's not as many things to tame and you can only tame creatures if you go through the taming tree there are a total of 60 different creatures but i believe only seven of them right now can be tamed although that will change in the future and we don't have breeding quite yet either so let's see we need more wood um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and make up all of our planks i think i think i have enough to make all of our planks i might not have enough to make like all of the ceilings and stuff but i know i've got enough to make all the i might have enough to make all the planks i might actually run out of stuff i am so unbearably sick of these freaking vultures getting in my house stuck in a window and just squawking get out of here i'm i need guns Unfortunately, I can't unlock them yet. I think they changed around the points again, and um, it's super expensive to get into firearms and cannons now. I don't think I can spec for both boat building and cannons anymore. 
Um, they changed a lot of stuff around, and I just don't think it... Well, it might be possible at max level, but not at 36. I was... Uh, like level 42 or something before this shenaniganry happened. So we need to go out and get treasure maps because that's pretty much the easiest way to level up in this game. Um, so once I can get treasure maps again, which we have a few already, we just need to, obviously a boat. So we need to get the brigantine done. And maybe what we'll do is we'll go out without a ton of cannons and just get some treasure maps for some easy levels. I suppose we could sail with um, the raft... Oh, shit, biscuits. Well, I need to get under the boat anyways to put these in, so that's not terrible. But for those of you that haven't built any ships in this game yet, it's it's relatively easy. And um, all of this stuff is just snap points. You have a certain number of slots that cannons can go in, and then you just need to fill up the rest with planks. Now, I highly recommend when you build a boat that you have extra planks on the boat so you can repair it. Um, but aside from that, we're just going to get this all filled in, and then what we're going to do is really showcase building the interior and top of the boat to make it even better. All of the planks on the ship, finally. 40 planks. <laughs> Counting, you know, all the gun ports and everything, and we got three decks as well. So we got a lot of things to build out on the ship itself, but I did want to find out if we could put... I didn't put enough fiber on here. I thought it was 1,000 fiber, not 1,080. Um, you know what? We're going to have to build a couple. Do I still have fiber left in here? No, I think I've got a couple. Oh, man. I am low on fiber again. Let's just grab everything that I have left. I might as well grab just a little bit more wood. And I want to see if we can put a large sail on this. I want to say we can. I haven't actually tried yet. So let's see here. Uh, large speed sail. I would like to put weight sails on here as well. Because um, if this is going to be our main ship, like the weight fills up so fast, especially when you have crew and stuff. Um, because each person weighs a certain amount and it just, it really adds up. If we're going to carry water, one of those water containers when it's full weighs 500 pounds all by itself. Uh, so let's see here. We have a total of 8.6. So we could put a large speed sail and then maybe... We could probably put two large speed sails and a medium weight sail on here. So that would be three, six. Yeah, we could do that. Two large speed sails and a weight. We'll see. Maybe what I'll do is a large speed sail. I might be able to get... We'll see here. Because I imagine... Actually, we could get three sails on here. Three large sails on here. Yeah, I can math. Yes, yeah, so we could do two large speed and a large weight. Depending on how much weight the large adds, we've got 15,000 total weight that we can carry on the Brigantine. If a large weight sail adds a considerable amount, I might do two of them. 15,000 is a lot of weight, but then when you consider like all the guns and everything we're going to be putting on here and all the storage and crew, 15,000 is going to fill up really quick. Currently working on building out the actual you know, decks of the ship. So we've obviously got these three levels that we've got to work with, and we've got plenty of ports to be able to build ways down into the ship. But I'm trying to build, like, the captain's area right now, and I've got it coming pretty good, I think. It might look a little crazy at the moment, but it may start making a little bit more sense here soon. Now, we've got this little storage area. I'm going to put some beds in here, I think. Um... But what we need to do is make a way down right now. So we need a doorway. And then I think I'm just going to make this a standard wall. And make sure that's snapped correctly. Uh, very good. Now, if we just put stairs here. So we need um, half stairs. Hit Q. There we go. Half stairs. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. We've got half stairs there, and this just needs to be a doorway. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now, we also need to wait. Why is the ship shaking? Well, that's not terrifying. We're freaking... <laughs> oh, what the? Is there a damn kraken or whale attacking? Oh, I've got vitamin deficiencies. Great, that, that explains it. Oh, I'm pooping myself uncontrollably. This is going to be bad. I've got scurvy, ladies and gentlemen. 
I'm gonna die. Well, let's see. So we need stairs up. I think I'm gonna just... Oh my god, I'm dying. I am dying bad. I... Oh no. So we've made some progress here. And, um... It's going pretty well. We've got stairs going down here. And the stairs here. And this will get you down to the second level. Pretty quickly. This is going to be a room basically with all of our storage and crafting stuff. As well as some of that in here. Uh, so that way we can easily access some important things. Then we've got another little area here. This is going to be an extra layer of protection for getting down to the second and third level. So you'll be able to walk down here. Then there's going to be two layers of doors. So they have to get through two layers of doors to get to anything important that's going to be in these particular areas, like the cannon crew and stuff like that. Um, and then in the front here, we're going to have a quick access way down to the bottom, to the third floor. So I think this is going to be... There'll probably be access to the second floor here as well. I'm uh, kind of just debating on exactly how to build that. Now, there are going to be cannons quite possibly up on this level. So there's going to be stairs, like half stairs here that we can put in now. Uh, so half stairs. Put those bad boys in right there. Now, all this is is just half walls that going across. You can use a full wall for this part here if you want to be able to get up onto this particular area. Easy. Um... And then all this is is just a two by two square with doors in it so that you can get downstairs. That's relatively easy. All of this is pretty easy to build, uh, but at least you won't have to... You, obviously, you could change this depending on your personal style if you so desire. But this is going to be a pretty darn good boat when it's done. Just kind of experimenting with different things as we go. And uh, I'm quite liking the way it looks so far. We decided to go with a weight sail, a speed, and a handling. So we got one of each, and I think that's going to make this pretty mobile. We've got a total of 16,100 maximum weight on here, which is pretty darn good. Total crew of 16. And obviously, we could pump weight into that if we need it. But I think with all the building and stuff, I'll probably end up being around four to 5,000 in weight with all the cannons and buildings and stuff on it. Man, this is taking a lot longer than I anticipated. But I've got my two little buildings here. So this is going to be my building. Um, I've got it kind of made. i got the roof structure created. It's all going pretty well. Uh, I'm probably going to put some beds up here and some storage, make it look cool. I don't know, maybe a cage to keep somebody prisoner if I so desire. Um, but what we want to do now is get some of these darn... Oh, did this run out of wood? Son of a beached whale, it did. Okay, so let's plop that back in there, that in there. Grab that wood. Plop it in there. Light fire. We went... Oh, I can't... I had the spec out of metallurgy to learn the cannons because I didn't have anybody else that could learn cannons. So now we need smooth to get down here and do that. But we have 11 cannons in here. And I can only carry that many at a time. So let's just get these all in our hotbar. And I'll show you the progress that we've made. The boat's looking pretty damn good. I'm trying to make it both pretty and incredibly usable. Oh, we're going to slow walk our way to victory here. Of course, I'm dying of hypothermia. <laughs> Barely going to get these stupid cannons down before I pass out and die. Oh, what the hell is this stair doing here? This is supposed to be a half stair, so I got to demolish that. GG. So we've got a lot of cannon ports down here, and we're going to fill each and every one of these up. But the plan is to also have forward-facing cannons and a rear-facing cannon. So I've got enough cannons... This is a full stair, too. I am a disaster. So now when I show you the top, there's going to be stairs everywhere. But uh, regardless, there's going to be doors here. And I've got this little, like, hidey hole. So that way you can hide. If people are doing archery stuff, you have a place to, like, pop in, reload, and then cut and pop out. And that's kind of the plan I was going for with all of this stuff here. Um, so you can hide behind this and reload and pop in. And I died. Oh, baby. We have pretty much finished the core bits of the ship. So we're currently at 4,000 weight, right about where I thought we would be. Going to be putting about 10 more cannons on here. So it's going to be a pretty heavy ship, but we got 16,100 weight. We can get this thing up to about, let's say, 14,000, 14,500 before we start encumbering it a little bit. Uh, but I do want to put the steering wheel on here. And then we'll be just about ready 
to launch this thing. Obviously, we still need um, a couple more cannons on here and storage and just basically any of the decorations we're going to be putting on the ship. But I'm going to show you exactly how we built this thing. So I already showed how to build this. I just kind of filled it in with railings and stuff. Um, but you can use walls all the way across here to build that. Um, these are walls going across mixed with half walls to kind of get the height that we want. So this is a wall with half walls on top of it. And then we've got walls here across. So basically this here is a wall and a half wall high. So a wall and a half high. And you can get all around this. We put railings here so you don't accidentally run off the ship while going down the stairs. Uh, but then we've got, this is basically the captain's side of the deck. The captain, lieutenant side, and where we're going to keep all of the our valuables. So this is the most secure side of the ship going all the way down. So you've got to get to this first layer here. And you can put some stuff here, but nothing crazy valuable should go up here. Maybe just have an extra smithy up here that's not laden with materials all the time. Then you could go down into the next layer, which is the second level of the ship. You can add more storage here, crafting, whatever you really want to put. And then you can even get down into this part here, which has the same level of security. So to get to this level of the ship, it's going to take them quite a bit of time to be able to do that. Which I like. Now, the real heavy security part of the ship is going down to the next level, the third and final level of the ship. I've got this here just for a little change in variety. Um, they can't, nobody can get over it, although they could probably throw a grenade down, but I'm going to put a, another ceiling down here. Uh, but this is obviously, see, we've got two doorways to get down in here. And this is going to be the captain's quarters. We're going to keep all the resource, basically any of the valuables, gold, whatever, down here. Because it's going to be the most difficult to get to. We've also got a layer of security here. And there is no other way down to the ship or down to this level other than through here as well. Now, I'm debating getting rid of this and making it so you can only get down to the third level of the ship one way but then i started thinking about what if you need to repair stuff so i'm kind of debating making this like a false floor so i'm going to put a floor here but then they can demolish it and get down if somebody actually needs to get down here more than one way and i'm pretty sure that's how i'm going to do it so most secure level is going to be down at the bottom this is we're going to keep all of our valuables beds and stuff like that and i think it's a really good system but as you can see we've got a, a quick access to all the levels so you can come through here, and you can get down to the second level, but you have to get through these doorways next. And you can quickly get down to the third level if you so desire. Now we've also got these ports in case anybody has actually made it down to the level. You can open up those ports and kill them. You place another door and basically trap them down there and murder them. I feel like having some murder holes is always a really, really good idea. So all in all, I think it's a pretty well-built ship. Now we're going to have... A large cannon on the very front. I would like to have three large cannons on the very front, actually. That would be the best. They're very heavy and very expensive, but I think it would be worth it. Yes. So all in all, that is, that is the ship. I think what I'm going to do is maybe just add a little bit more decorations here. Then we're going to launch it. So... We got quite a few people in the company now. And just remember, if you're a member, patron, or sponsor and you want to join... You can come to the our island in D2. If you join the Discord, all the information for that is there. But this server is open regardless. So feel free to join in and have some fun. How much metal we got up in here? I need to find the ingots. Are we crafting any? Okay, wow. We're crafting 791. Very nice. We've been farming crazily. Smooth's been basically just farming up all of our stuff. He's our current metal-making genius. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but... I got to finish making the port, too. It's a little crazy. Also, if you guys don't know how to build things in the air like this, I'm going to also reinforce it with pillars. So that way they have to not only destroy the foundations, but also destroy the pillars. So this is actually a pretty safe structure here. So there's a couple things that I can't do to the ship until I release it. So we're going to actually do that, and we're going to name it. So I would like to make some sort of... I want to bring these all out, but I can't because that is in the way. And we're going to put cannons on these. So not only do we have the five cannons below, we'll have the five cannons up top. So we could theoretically have ten cannons on one side all manned, which would be absolutely just... That's a ton of firepower on one side of the ship. So we're going to launch this beautiful brigantine. 
I can't wait. This is the first time I've gotten to do it. So, I already know what we're going to name it. I need to actually look at the boat. So, release ship. It didn't explode! There was a lot of noises, which was very scary. I thought it was going to explode. Are we sinking? We took some damage. Oh, I, I almost pooped myself. Woo! The SS Lumbago's Revenge. Uh, oh, God. Perfect. It was going to be a different name, but I figured this would be more channel-friendly at the moment. <laughs> oh... Oh, man, that turning spooked me. Apparently, there's, in some cases, in some terrifying cases, the boat can actually sink when you release it. I don't know what causes that to happen, but it is a thing. Um, so we're just gonna, I guess we're gonna fully open the sails and just get this bad boy out of here. I can't, we need to go get crew. Because when you have crew, it's so much easier to sail the ship. I had started showcasing it on another episode, and then we had to redo the server. But regardless, look at this boat! It's just ready to destroy. I kind of want to turn it and get it parked, maybe? It's so beautiful. It's just... I'm surprised it's not sinking from all the weight we got. Actually, we don't have a ton of weight on there. We need to add all the storage and stuff and beds. I think we can only put one bed on it for right now, so I'm just going to leave it here. So I want to build an actual port for it so we can get the boat, like, as close to, like, but without having to swim to land. <gasps> oh, I forgot I wanted to put dinghy or, a. Uh, oh, man. I hope I could put dinghy stuff on this afterwards. I need to see if I can get the, uh, the little dinghy dock put on here. Woo, baby. We built, uh, the actual dock for the Brigantine. And we should be able to get a smaller ship in here. We should be able to get a schooner, sloop, and all that stuff in this, and still be able to turn it around. Um, but I planned on actually doing is having this as one as well. I don't know if it's too shallow right there for something like a schooner. We'll have to find out, but it'll definitely have to be a smaller ship because the brigantine can't come in any closer. Um, but this right here is pretty cool. Built a ramp so you can get onto the ship and off of the ship. And we've almost got it fully decked out with cannons. <laughs> this is, uh, I love this ship right now. It looks a little crazy, but man. So we've got one, two, three, four, five cannons here. There's going to be five cannons on the other side. And we're just waiting on, actually, I think they might be crafted. I just have to bring them over here. We've got two large cannons on the front and two small cannons. Very nice. I just noticed these stairs... We're a little glitchy, which could pose a small issue when we're sailing. Might have to replace those. Um, but we've got railings and everything. And then I put these half walls here. So just in case the boat gets raided, you can have a little bit of uh, cover. Although that could play into the enemy's hands as well. So I might get rid of that. What the hell is that down there? One, one of the half walls snapped funny. The snap points get a little crazy up in here. But all in all, this... This brigantine is about ready to go. We need to arm it before we take it on a, on our first voyage, which will be in the next episode because we need to get a crew for it. But man, look how menacing this looks with all the cannons and stuff on. We just need the cannons to finish on the right side. And we're going to be armed to the teeth. We, we technically don't have enough crew to arm both sides at the same time. That's how many cannons we have. Uh, but I've gone ahead and put the storage in and everything, and uh, I'm quite happy with the way this ship has turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Our shipyard area is slowly coming to fruition. I got two buildings, and we still need to get, like, the inn and a couple other buildings in here. But all in all... It's going really, really good. The server's been running amazingly, knock on wood, uh, since we got it up and going. And uh, there was a patch that came out that broke private servers for a little bit, uh, but that has all been remedied now. And if you're looking for a private server of your own, check out the description for a link for 5% off G Portal servers. Best server provider you can get hands down. I also just realized we got um, some stuff going. Oh, Le Farm. This must be Skids' farm. Nice! This is awesome. Look at her go. Farming it up. She's got grass in her building and everything. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. I'll see you in the next one. On the back sale.